The number one reason people fail in life is because they listen to their friends, family, and neighbors. You either control your mind, or it controls you. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. The starting point of all achievement is desire. Weak desires bring weak results, just as a small amount of fire brings a small amount of heat. You might well remember that nothing can bring you success but yourself. Success comes to those who become success conscious. You will never be greater than the thoughts that dominate your mind. When you close the door of your mind to negative thoughts, the door of opportunity opens to you. Don't wait. The time will never be just right. Focus on the possibilities for success, not on the potential for failure. Both success and failure are largely the results of habit. It takes a habit to replace a habit. Action is the real measure of intelligence. Keep your mind fixed on what you want in life, not on what you don't want. Control your own mind, and you may never be controlled by the mind of another. Most illness begins with a negative mind. Change your mental attitude, and the world around you will change accordingly. Find out what you really love to do, and then find a way to make a good living doing it. Your real boss is the one who walks around under your hat. If you are influenced by the opinions of others, you will have no desire of your own. The development of self-confidence starts with the elimination of this demon called fear. If you are sure you are right, you need not worry what the world thinks. The way to develop decisiveness is to start right where you are, with the very next question you face. A man is as big as the measure of his thinking. The single most influential force that controls your attitudes, beliefs, capabilities, and emotions is repetition. The words you silently use, over and over again, in your internal dialogue with yourself. If you have no major purpose, you are drifting towards certain failure. Dreams come true when desire transforms into concrete actions. Patience, persistence, and perspiration make an unbeatable combination for success. Nobody rises above mediocrity unless they use the brains of other people. Watch the one ahead of you, and you'll learn why he is ahead. Then emulate him. Success is good at any age. But the sooner you find it, the longer you will enjoy it. First you fuel the desire, then the desire will fuel you. Victory is always possible for the person who refuses to stop fighting. Great achievement is usually born of great sacrifice, and is never the result of selfishness. One of the most valuable things any person can learn is the art of using the knowledge and experience of others. To succeed in life, succeed at being yourself. If you learn to budget your time correctly, you will have time for all your needs. Success is knowing what you're doing, loving what you're doing, and believing what you're doing. Remember that, it is not the lawyer who knows the most law, but the one who best prepares his case, who wins. 
Success requires no explanations. Failure permits no alibis. Failure cannot cope with persistence. You have to understand you cannot have faith and fear at the same time. You can only have one or the other. No man achieves great success who is unwilling to make personal sacrifices. Your only limitation is the one you set up in your own mind. Remember when your plans fail. That temporary defeat is not permanent failure. Failure seems to be nature's plan for preparing us for great responsibilities. Nature cannot be tricked or cheated. She will give up to you the object of your struggles only after you have paid her price. You will attract to yourself people who harmonize with your own philosophy of life, whether you wish it or not. The man of decision cannot be stopped. The man of indecision cannot be started. Take your own choice. Who is Napoleon Hill? Napoleon Hill, 1883-1970, was an influential American self-help author, best known for his book Think and Grow Rich, which has sold millions of copies worldwide and remains a cornerstone of the self-improvement genre. Hill's work focuses on the principles of personal achievement and success, advocating for the power of positive thinking, goal-setting, and the importance of persistence and self-discipline. Born in a one-room cabin in southwest Virginia, Hill overcame early life challenges through determination and ambition. He began his career as a reporter, which led to a life-changing opportunity to interview the industrialist Andrew Carnegie. Carnegie, impressed by Hill's potential, commissioned him to interview over 500 successful individuals to uncover the formula for success. This extensive research spanned over 20 years and formed the foundation of Hill's philosophy. Hill's most famous work, Think and Grow Rich, published in 1937, distills the lessons from his interviews into a coherent philosophy of success. The book outlines 13 principles, including desire, faith, auto-suggestion, specialized knowledge, imagination, organized planning, decision, persistence, the master mind, the mystery of sex transmutation, the subconscious mind, the brain, and the sixth sense. Hill's principles emphasize the mental and emotional aspects of achieving success, promoting a mindset of abundance and resilience. Beyond Think and Grow Rich, Hill authored several other books, such as The Law of Success, Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude, co-authored with W. Clement Stone, and Outwitting the Devil. His teachings have influenced countless individuals and remain relevant in personal development circles today. Hill's legacy is marked by his belief that anyone can achieve their goals through a combination of clear vision, unwavering faith, and persistent effort. His work continues to inspire and guide those seeking to unlock their full potential and attain success in various aspects of life. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe for more interesting video in the future. Your support means the world to us.